Thanks so much for hanging out with us tonight. Coming up on Monday, the GDS Spring Home Show is starting. We're going to revamp your whole house for the next two weeks, including <laughs> one of my faves, kicking things off with Vicki from Urbane Design Studio. Wait until you see the home she decorated. You are going to love that. Plus, we're getting you ready for next Friday's Barrel of Laughs at Prairie Street Brewing Company 2. One more thing before we go tonight. Before we get to Tam on the Town, two things, actually. Yeah. i got so many things for you. Thing one, okay. I never mentioned anything about how you cooked that air fried recipe, which I brought <laughs> to Tamanique because our wonderful guest said that they tasted like France. And you love France. So you're gonna cook them at 300 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. You can always get our air fryer recipes at GoodDayStateLine.com and you can always give us your favorite air fry recipe so we can make them on Air Friday. Not quite, or you know, she she says real France coming out of that crescent mm -hmm. roll. It was given pain de chocolat. Okay, so when you have a pain de chocolat, you also <laughs> need a drink. So dirty soda is apparently a TikTok trend. Yeah, it is. The whole concept is. is just putting creamer in pop. Into the pop. Right, so this is a new line from Coffee Mate mm -hmm. where they are launching what they think is the ultimate dirty, dirty soda pop. sensation. Yeah. Coffee Mate with Dr. Pepper. This specifically is a coconut, coconut lime, lime flavor. Lime is and they sent us this so we can try it. Here, give me your glass. Okay. <laughs> How Let's try this. How much I couldn't pour? even. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I had Dr. Oh, Pepper. So you smell this? It Maybe smells this like smell a, like tropical. Yeah. Okay. How much? Do Just I like more? a tablespoon, like a normal person's amount of creamer. Like so, so more? No, no, that's fine. Okay. I'll now get. I got a little abnormal. Sorry, friend. I'm so okay. sorry. Ready to try this? I really am. I'm not going to like give it here. You got to like really swirl it. You know I'm clumsy. I would end up I spilling mine. <laughs> That's pretty good. No, nah, I didn't thanks. think I was going to like this. No. Nah. It tastes like a Girl Scout cookie somehow. Okay, I'll keep this. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought it was going to be nasty, but this mm -hmm. is good. That is the truth. Okay, I'll keep drinking that. You tell me, Tam on the Town this week, a little different. You have been exploring a lot Literally. with the orchestra. Yes. And we Literally. can't like take a camera in there and like bother <laughs> people during their performance. Video. So yeah. tell me a little bit about what you've learned um, and then some of their upcoming performances that we So the first one that I went to was their Romance Poetry and Valentine's Orchestra. It is absolutely beautiful. This one was at the Coronado. Mm -hmm. And it was about like a two hour, um, two hour show with a, like a 20-ish intermission. But it was absolutely beautiful. It was my first ever orchestra. I love jazz music. I love like classical music. So I was like in love and I knew I wanted to go to this. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely stunning. You have to have tickets to go. Like you can't just show up. Okay, but they do sell know. tickets there. And then also the other one I went to was their French jazz. It was a matinee. It's absolutely beautiful. This one was during the day as a matinee. But like this one, they only had about two to three performers in okay. it. So yeah, it was absolutely amazing. I love orchestra music, so I would say like if you want, go th go to this. When like, is if their interested. next show? Do you know? Their next one is I'm pretty sure March 16th. Okay. It's a pop one. I'm gonna be there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I might be able to walk by then. Maybe. Yeah. I'm with you. All right. We'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.